Don't believe the hype about the US being close to international students. This is not the case. If you are interested in studying in the US and you are qualified, you have no reason not to try it. And in this video, I'm here to share with you one of the most important aspects of studying in the US, and that is financial aid, scholarships, and assistantships. I know this information will be of great use to you, so stay tuned. Hashtag you are welcome here. I did not make it up. This is a real social media campaign from US universities and colleges to international students. They are welcoming you here. When you decide to come and study in the US, you are making an incredible decision and you are joining millions of other international students that have decided to make the US their study destination. So why study in the US? I'm not in particular advocating that you come to the US. I'm simply giving you information based on my own experience and also some recent research so as to make it a little bit easier should you decide to come and study in the US. Well, the US has so many top-notch universities. Simple Google search will show you so many Ivy League colleges and other colleges that will provide you with one of the best educational systems in the world. This is my own view, again, based on my own experience. Other people may decide other parts of the world like the UK or Australia or indeed Africa will give them the best educational system they want. If you haven't seen the first introductory video to this series, I suggest that you watch it. I will link it up here as well as in the description box. In that video, I share my personal journey of how I moved from Africa to the United States to study as an international student. So after the university accepts you as a student, you need to show that you're able to pay for your education. Once you have all that information, then you need to apply for a student visa. In my case, I came as an F1 student. If you have limited funds to pay for your education like I did, you need to consult with your college advisors and read up as much as you can about the school and what kind of scholarships, grants, and financial aid they provide. Let's look at the typical financial aid that you as an international student will be able to access. Before the American embassy or consulate can provide you with a visa, you need to have proof that you can pay for your tuition, your room and board, as well as any other extra expenses. Now, let's get to the main topic of this particular video, how to apply for financial aid. The first type of financial aid I want to talk to you about is merit-based scholarships. What is a merit-based scholarship? Merit aid is a form of college financial aid that does not consider a student's financial need but rather is awarded based on academic, athletic, artistic, or special interest merit. So if you have very, very good grades, or you are exceptional in a sport or in music, you may qualify for merit-based scholarships. Another form of scholarships are individual-based scholarships. There are a number of independent programs out there that offer scholarships to international students. Corporations sponsor some of these scholarships to support students from a particular region or to encourage study in a specific field. 
there's not a single source for finding these type of scholarships so you may try using search features provided by organizations and of course google it you as an international student may also be able to apply for school-based scholarships often the best sources of scholarships for international students are the colleges and universities themselves a few good things to note about school-based scholarships first school-based scholarships can cover a large portion of your annual tuition. These are often renewable each and every year, as long as you meet the academic standards. The other thing that makes this college-based scholarship a little bit easier to apply for is the fact that they may not be as competitive as scholarships from huge organizations. I know some international students initially become discouraged when they see how many scholarships for which they cannot apply. But quite often, there are many, many scholarships that are offered by these universities themselves. And you are free to apply for all these as long as you qualify. Not every school out there provides scholarships for international students, but there are many, many that do so. I'm about to provide you with a list of notable universities that provides scholarships to international students. So always look into the school that you're about to apply to to make sure they can offer you a scholarship that will help you to cover your costs. Examples of universities and colleges that provide international students with scholarships include Boston University, Temple University, University of Chicago, University of Houston, University of Richmond, University of Rochester, University of Vermont, Temple University, and Harvard. I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, it's free to you but it will help me a lot because this lets YouTube know that the information I'm providing you is of value. And also give this video a like, be sure to share it with somebody else who is in the same shoes as you or anyone you think might be interested in knowing more about being a student in the United States. I will really appreciate this because it helps my growing channel. Just a side note, master's degree and ph degree students have even better opportunities for scholarships in fact for many phd programs you can get a hundred percent full ride scholarship through assistantships and other ways and i will be covering more of those details in a separate dedicated video Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope all the information I've provided you is of great use. If it is, please leave me a comment. What did you learn that's new to you today? And if you are interested in studying in the US, just write in the comments USA and I'll be able to know exactly what you mean. I'm glad you decided to stop here. I hope all this information has been of great help to you. For now, let me wish you God's blessings and see you in the next one.